This is Young Fade Lung, and I am here to review Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 consoles. Now, Dragon Ball Z has had fighting games going back all the way to the days of the Super Famicom. Some of these games were terrific, like Ultimate Battle 22 for the PlayStation, and some are downright horrible. So, how does Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit stack up against today's modern fighting games? The biggest part of the game is Z Chronicles, which pretty much takes you through a condensed story mode of Dragon Ball Z. Now in this mode, you'll compete in fight after fight, with lots of cutscenes to drive the mediocre story along. In this mode, you'll play as both good guys and bad guys, and eventually you'll pretty much go through the entire Dragon Ball Z saga. Once you complete each saga, there are these nifty little music videos that sort of summarize each of the uh, saga's events. And this is just a really nice touch if you've been a Dragon Ball Z fan for years and years, and you'll actually start wishing, man, I wish they would reanimate the Dragon Ball Z anime series in this kind of format. As you play through Z Chronicles, you'll unlock characters, stages, moves, and extras. When it's all said and done, there are 20 playable characters. Finally, Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit offers you the ability to play the game using the original Japanese voice cast or the dub cast. There's no doubt that just like the show, the dub voices are horrible. The Japanese voices just add a whole other element to the game that fans have been clamoring for for years. And of course, uh, there are subtitles, so there's no problem playing through listening to the Japanese voices, and it's going to make your experience far better. As for gameplay, characters all play alike, but have different animations for their moves and special attacks. It can take some time to get adjusted to the play mechanics, but once you do, you do really feel that you're a Super Saiyan, transforming with ease, powering up, and pulling off tons of Kamehamehas. Drama pieces add to the gameplay, allowing you to call characters to save you if you're in trouble or throw you a Sinzu beam. Later characters such as Super Saiyajin Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan have several transformations, adding to the insane amount of power. But it all manages to balance out, because the more power you have, the lower your defense will become. We took Burst Limit Online with the Xbox 360 edition, and found the online play to be quite good. You can take on Dragon Ball Z players from around the globe. As great as this is, if you're in America playing a guy in Japan, the action is going to indeed slow down. Still, most of the time the online matches are fast and furious, just like the end game, and provide hours and hours of fighting mayhem, not to mention replay value. So with all this in mind, let's score Dragon Ball Z first limit. The Dragon Ball Z story has never been rocket science. It's something that anime fans and gamers alike are either going to enjoy or not. Uh, newcomers who have never ever seen the Dragon Ball Z anime are probably going to be a little bit confused when they play the game. Nevertheless, this game is made for Dragon Ball Z fans. So with that in mind, I'm going to give the story a 7 out of 10. I've always enjoyed the Dragon Ball story. Like I said, it's not rocket science, but it's fun, it has some twists and turns, and, you know, it is what it is. Graphics and design. This is without a doubt the most beautiful looking Dragon Ball Z game on the market. Um, it's just gorgeous. The lighting, the character art, it, it all comes together. And really, when I first saw the game, um, when it was first announced, I was very skeptical. But truth be told, it's definitely one of the most beautiful fighting games to look at on the market. Uh, it's not the biggest game. And, you know, it doesn't have the, the vast array of detail that maybe a Metal Gear Solid has, but uh, it, it's still very pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. The sound effects are definitely traditional Dragon Ball Z. Um, you know, when you shoot a fireball, you get that crazy sound effect. When you shoot the Kamehameha, the sound effects are correct. The voice acting, thankfully you can select between English and Japanese. As I said before, the English dub is just awful, but the Japanese voice acting, which is what I grew up on, is tremendous. Um, the background music is also very good, and it will please both fans of the English dub version and the Japanese. Dragon Ball Z's gameplay 
is pretty simplistic, but there again, if you're playing a novice against someone who actually knows what they're doing, you're definitely going to be able to beat the novice. It doesn't have the depth of a Tekken or a Virtua Fighter, but without a doubt, it's very solid. Fun Factor Tilt. Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit is a game that if you like Dragon Ball, you're going to really enjoy it. Me, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball. I've been a huge fan of anime for as long as I can remember. And with that in mind, I'm going to give Dragon Ball Z Fun Factor Tilt a 9 out of 10. Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit will please fans of Dragon Ball Z anime and manga. The game itself looks amazing. The sounds and music are great. The drama pieces are an overall nice touch. A lone Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit holds its own weight and is easy and fun to play. It doesn't have the depth of a Tekken or Virtua Fighters, but for fans of the show, it's no doubt worth the money.